Okay, so it's been four years. If you think about it, one more year, and it's gonna be like half a decade. And so the other day I got this question from one of the viewers, Faisal, and he's saying, why no one is talking about Touch Bar? The UX of it is just a joke. And I tend to agree. I mean, it's been so long but Apple didn't really build anything on top of it. It's just been a hell of an experiment which seems to be forgotten, but generally speaking, the audience, the actual Mac fans are kind of divided. Some are already used to it, others are just angry and furious about it and just don't really want to use it. More than two years in and I have yet to find anyone who thinks this is a good idea. Time waster, not a time saver, decreases efficiency and removes one-touch access to critical functions like volume and brightness control, hidden sliders, really look down, locate, touch to expand locate the slider widget then move it bonkers this specific bit breaks the heuristic of recognition instead of the recall because the users must learn the hard way this behavior and for example even you know the sliding of the volume being remote from the actual trigger the fits law is just being broken there as well uh, don't get me wrong i'm all for the inevitable keyless keyboard with pressure sensitivity and haptic feedback. And this is where I think Apple is headed because from day one seems like an experiment just to drop in a new input method alongside the butterfly keyboard just to experiment those two bits, capture some data because Apple is obviously logging left and right what you're doing with your laptop and then compare and see if they can expand it. Apple just patented all those different schemas, how the future laptops is going to look like and it's just going to be a haptic touch screen which can change the keys depending on the app you are on context sounds familiar that's exactly what touch bar is right now but obviously minify never used macbook pro with touch bar i think from f1 f2 keys is my daily usage thing and this is what i agree as well which has pissed me off back in the day because a lot of different tools apps games as well like video games use f1 to F12, the function keys to activate something. Right now, if a touch bar, you must hammer on the FN on function key to make the function buttons visible, which is again, breaks with the same heuristic because I had to learn the new ways instead of having a familiarity with it. And you could argue, well, it's innovation, but is it meaningful? That's my take. Because to me, it seems like it's a playground, it's a sandbox for Apple to test their ideas. You know, most of the heuristics, if we look at it, visibility of system status should keep users informed, match between system and real world, users control and freedom, consistency and standards, I think are a bit broken, but error prevention, recognition, definitely not the best. Flexibility and efficiency of use, aesthetic and minimalist design, diagnose and recover from errors, help and documentation. Some of it are definitely missing, but most of these are answered but it's not finished you have to get used to it ultimately you have to change your behaviors as a user you have to learn the new ways to interact with this mini keyboard for lack of a better term of course this person also suggests better touch tool which basically you can install and remap your keys here in this example you can basically customize different bits but get me started on about lack of physical escape key every time i find myself looking for it because my fingers are searching for well a key and the blank space next to it bothers me more than anything else you have to basically figure out a way to exit an expensive unneeded frippery that interferes with many workflows which well i do agree with that by a lot of different apps for example video editing graphic processing have the gimmick side to it where you can let's see flip through different slides select colors when you type text and message you can select emoji things of that nature all the different bits which sort of make it useful it still breaks the heuristics of the usability and also breaks the workflows your eyes from human computer interaction have to flip from one screen down to another minified screen and then kind of connect the dots and go from one bit to the other it's always making you unfortunately forcing you to recall and shape the behaviors and be reactive instead of proactive and just recognizing the patterns and just like using a simple mouse you know where to click you know what interactions is going to result you don't need to take a second look before clicking one button or the other button you know what's going to happen i'm also of the opinion that most users is less efficient or anytime you have to take your hand off keyboard and eyes off a screen to initiate an action is less efficient than if you could execute a 
key combination while still looking at the screen. And so this is the qualitative feedback, which Apple probably didn't care about, or we didn't use or test it before. I mean, this is it. This is what I'm talking about. The biggest problem with touch bar is human. I agree. You shouldn't fix the human. You should fix the touch bar. No interest in the touch bar. One of those, gee, it looked better on a design board ideas. <laughs> One specific context and your eyes have to drop for it to be usable. And some of the commenters say that it's nothing new, where it has been a lot of different attempts at it. For example, this example of the HP laptop, as you can see, the function keeps are being kept exactly like you would expect. And then you have a touch bar on top with some other features. There is rewind and forward and pause of the music, I guess. At least you know what to expect as a user. You didn't have to relearn or force it onto yourself. The user experience was optimal 2015, but we have to do something because touch screen laptop hybrids do a bizarre touch bar thing that breaks all of our UI guidelines and ignore it. 2018, well, that was a resounding May. Now what do we do? Replace the keyboard with raised glass and claim that touch bar was an inspiration. A lot of unhappy customers, fanboys not being so much of a fan. Other people learn those new behaviors in a hard way and then defend it. To me, it has been an experiment, again, a testing ground to find out if there's a little bit of traction. I kind of respect that, but on the other hand, that has been quite an odd choice. And if you time travel back, and ask Steve Jobs, hey, would you launch this? Just like many other innovations, which some are meaningful, some are not, I don't think he would approve it, but hey. And so I hope this is useful. If you find it, so give a like, leave a comment down below of your own thoughts. How did you find it in the last few years if you have used it? And on that note, I'll see you next time.